So talking about collecting um, 18th century chairs, I want to show you a couple examples of early early country style rockers, um, New England style. Um, here's two great examples. Um, you can see that the turnings are a little different. Um, this, this, this turning as compared to this, very typical of that period. With the, you can see the typical pegging that's going on here. And here we have four slats. And the same thing with this one. We have four slats, but we also have a different type of a slat with an arch in the center here. So this is two different examples. The, both the arms are turned outward. You can see um, the construction here. One goes through the center of the, um, the chair right here. The rail goes right down through and uh, attaches to the to the um, spindle on the, on the uh, rocker itself. And here you see where the, um, the piece is put on on the outside of the rocker. So two different examples of way the construction of these rockers. You can see that they're also made of different types of woods. Um, you can see two different s examples of a splint seat and a rush seat, which is not unusual for either one. And when we go down, you can also see two different examples of uh, rockers. This one has um, shaker um, style um, construction, but I um, believe that this um, rail has been replaced at a later. Um, but th this is an interesting um, construction that they've put onto the onto this rocker. It's a different, totally different wood. This, whereas when you look at this rocker, you can see. Um, it has, um, this to me is original. You can see that it has a lot of wear underneath here on the rocker. Something to look for when you're um, buying these rockers. This is, these two rockers are really nice examples of, um, I can remember the first rocker I bought years and years ago from an older um, gentleman who collect, who was a collector of 18th century. And he, um, he uh, advised me that these were what he called um, hoop skirts. These were hoop skirt rockers, and they were for women during the 1700s that would have their big puffy wire hoop skirts on, and they'd try to sit in these chairs, and what they could do was lift the hoop over the chair arm because the arm was set back into the chair. So that's one other way that people refer to these chairs as hoop skirt rockers. So two nice examples of early 18th century rockers with different types of um, seat, different types of construction, and different types of woods. So these are just a few examples for you um, to look for when you're looking for 18th century rockers.